groups is a Linux kernel feature to limit, account, and isolate resource usage of process groups. This work was started by engineers at Google in 2006 under the name Process Containers. In late 2007, it was renamed to Control Groups due to the confusion caused by multiple meanings of the term container in the Linux kernel, and merged into kernel version 2.6.24. Since then, many new features and controllers have been added, such as support for KERNFS, firewalling, and the introduction of a unified hierarchy. Features One of the design goals of Scroops is to provide a unified interface to many different use cases, from controlling single processes to whole operating system level virtualization. Scroops provides Resource limitation, groups can be set to not exceed a set memory limit a euro this also includes file system cache. The original paper was presented at Linux Symposium and can be found at containers, challenges with the memory resource controller and its performance. Prioritization, some groups may get a larger share of CPU or disk IO throughput. Accounting, to measure how much resources certain systems use for for example billing purposes. Control, freezing groups or checkpointing and restarting. Usage, a control group is a collection of processes that are bound by the same criteria. These groups can be hierarchical, where each group inherits limits from its parent group. The kernel provides access to multiple controllers through the CGROUP interface. For instance, the memory controller limits memory use, quacked accounts CPU usage, etc. Control groups can be used in multiple ways, by accessing the CGROUP virtual file system manually, by creating and managing groups on the fly using tools like Create, CGEXEC, and Classify, through the rules engine daemon that can automatically move processes of certain users, groups, or commands to groups as specified in its configuration, indirectly through other software that uses groups such as Linux Containers Virtualization, Libvite, Systemd, OpenGrid Scheduler Grid Engine, and Google's LMCTFY. The Linux kernel documentation contains full technical details of the setup and use of control groups. Redesign, redesign of Scroops was started in 2013, with additional changes brought by versions 3.15 and 3.16 of the Linux kernel. Namespace Isolation while not technically part of the Scroops work, a related feature of the Linux kernel is namespace isolation, where groups of processes are separated such that they cannot see resources in other groups. For example, a PID namespace provides a separate enumeration of process identifiers within each namespace. Also available amount, UTS, network and SysVIPC namespaces. The PID namespace provides isolation for the allocation of process identifiers, lists of processes and their details. While the new namespace is isolated from other siblings, processes in its parent namespace still see all processes in child namespaces are euro albeit with different PID numbers. Network namespace isolates the network interface controllers, iptables firewall rules, routing tables etc. Network namespaces can be connected with each other using the VETH virtual Ethernet device. UTS namespace allows changing the host name. Mount namespace allows creating a different file system layout, or making certain mount points read only. IPC namespace isolates the system V into process communication between namespaces. User namespace isolates the user IDs between namespaces. Namespaces are created with the unshare command or syscall, or as new flags in a clone syscall. The NS subsystem was added early in Scroops development to integrate namespaces and control groups. If the NSC GROUP was mounted, each namespace would also create a new group in the CGROUP hierarchy. This was an experiment that was later judged to be a poor fit for the Scroops API, and removed from the kernel. Linux namespaces were inspired by the more general namespace functionality used heavily throughout Plan 9 from Bell Labs. Unified hierarchy, whenever designing a software, the software engineer picks solutions which overall best blend the exigencies regarding stability, security, performance, as well as maintainability, 
programmability and usability. By their nature, they balance each other, for example, a mighty API to user space, that doesn't offer too much functionality, but carelessly exposes some key inner working, might seriously compromise stability and security. That is especially true if that software is part of the Linux kernel. To John Heo, decided to alter Scroops to prevent these scenarios. He designed and implemented a unified hierarchy with only one user space entity that has exclusive access to the facilities offered by Scroops. KERNFS was introduced in the Linux kernel with version 3.14, the main author being to John Heo. One of the main motivators for a separate KERNFS is the Scroops file system. KERNFS is basically the splitting off of some of the SYSFS logic into an independent entity so that other kernel subsystems can more easily implement their own virtual file system with handling for device connect and disconnect, dynamic creation and removal as needed or unneeded, and other attributes. Redesign continued into version 3.15 of the Linux kernel. It is anticipated that, in the future, debugs will also become based on KERNFS. Kernel memory control groups Kernel memory control groups were merged into version 3.8 of the Linux kernel mainline. The KMEMCG controller can limit the amount of memory that the kernel can utilize to manage its own internal processes. Adoption Various projects are using Scroops as their basis, including the following, CoreOS, Docker, Kibernetes, LMCTFY, LXE, Mesos and Mesosphere, see also. Operating system Euro-level virtualization implementations, references. External links, Linux kernel documentation on Scroops, Linux kernel namespaces and Scroops by Rami Rosen.